This is January 10th, 2010. The building is the 2840 Wyoming. This is our unit, the home, uh, the owner occupied. Um, previously, all the insulation right here was up. However, I went ahead and put some R13 for soundproofing. This wall leads into the other unit's wall as well. There's two 5 8 inch drywall in between. And I'm going to have two R13s, another piece of drywall on the other side, as well as this side on this room, resilient channeling, which will make it a nice soundproof. Another thing I'm working on right now is actually getting this soundproofed as well because that leads up to a bedroom and I believe that's R30 right there. So that'll, that'll dampen it up a little bit. We also got the can lights installed here and we have the ceiling fan one here so we'll have some good ambient light. This one here has been moved as well. That's going to be for our dining room. As you can tell the place is kind of a mess. but. That is actually a good thing because that means something's being done. Um, it's a little dark in here. Uh, nothing really has been done except this right here, I guess, is the new header. And we expanded that wall from where that where this blue box here is to where this blue box is here. So uh, the now the kitchen is 100 inches this way. And then the regular side this way. The electrics ran. There's only one electrical problem. Uh, that's going to be addressed because there's going to be a pantry right where that electrical box right in the middle is. Um, I'm going to start working on this room in here probably today, hopefully. If not for sure, it has to be done by Wednesday when the tuck pointers are done with exterior tuck pointing. So we could wrap up this room here, wrap up the windows, all those little holes in the door right there. You see all that sunlight coming in. There are no, gla There's no glass windows there, so that's actually air coming in. Um, so that's the kitchen. The good part is upstairs where there's now drywall. So it's going to look like a lot of white, but that's a good thing because that's drywall. So the drywall up here got done. This is the second floor. This is going to be one of the bedrooms. We don't know which bedroom it's going to, whose bedroom it's going to be yet. If it's going to be a spare bedroom or our bedroom. But here's the bedroom. Here's the closet. They have this little nook right here this little thing that's gonna it's for the uh, bathroom so that's good because we can run from here to here for clothes as well for here to here for clothes and obviously it snowed outside this week which which made it a little harder to do tuck pointing okay then we walk down into i don't know if you're gonna be able to see into the bathroom but the bathroom got done here's shannon's little linen closet so that's what she really wanted and that's what she got. Uh, we're not going to be able to put the clawfoot bathtub in like Shannon wanted to because it was going to cost too much for the hardware. So we're going to stick with the regular bathtub. The laundry room is completed. It has the green board in there all the way around except the roof or the ceiling. And here is the other bedroom. This is going to be a lot of white. The electric heater, which is for some reason off right now. Maybe it's because it's 65 degrees up here and it cut off, hopefully. Um, again, this tuck pointing right here needs to be done, as you can tell, with those big gaping holes that's inside tuck pointing, which does need to be done properly. Uh, the tuck pointing here got done to a point. I scraped it, and then I had to yell at him and tell him, no, you also have to... Uh, do it right and grind some so they actually ground some out as well but now it's all frozen solid as you can see with the with the ice and that's a big old snowball up there so they're gonna have to come up tomorrow and thaw it out before they can start filling it in and then we'll go up to the third floor which again has been drywalled to a point all these side walls going up the stairs Actually, this whole wall has been R13 by me. Um, so this way here, ceiling got insulated. And that's insulated up. And here's what they did yesterday. They did some of the ceiling drywall on this side. They put our door in the day before. 
the bathroom. This is the master bath. Substantially larger than the bathroom downstairs. I'm still not sure what we're going to do with this little hole here. I'm sure there's going to be like a cabinet. We'll place a cabinet in there or something. I wish they wouldn't even done this because most likely soon enough we're going to tear this whole bathroom out and redo it anyways. So I wish they wouldn't have done it because we don't have the money for the bathtub that we want right now. Um, and here is the master bedroom. It's really small to a point, but we'll be sleeping in it here and then we can hang out in the sitting room if we even hang out in the bedroom at all. Plus it's a third floor. That's a tough walk. And there's the closet. So that's all the work that got done on this side. Um, nothing really got done on the other side for the simple fact of all the drywall we had over there is being used for this floor here or this side. And they say that they have to bring in more drywall. So whoever did the math did the math wrong. I, I wrote down the list and um, they ran with it, but they didn't come up with all the dimensions properly. So now we're down about probably it's going to be close to $2,000 in just the drywall alone. So rather disappointing in that, which they should have anticipated, but that's why we have the 15% contingency. Um, so that, that'll pay for that. Um, this wall here got worked on. It wasn't level, so they ended up cutting pieces off of it and leveling it out to where it's pretty much straight. Uh, yeah, sort of straight. Not exactly straight, but straight enough for us. Um, I'm not going to complain too much. But yeah, this this floor over here, nothing got done yet. Um, I guess I could walk down this one real quick. Nothing got done in the basement. We do have all furnaces running right now, except this electric furnace here, because we don't have electric on that side. But we do have the gas on the other side going. Uh, this wall here has to still be taken down and reframed. And a wall needs to be put up here. Um, and I'm not going to insulate this until the framing gets done. Um, as I said, this furnace isn't running yet. But all this was covered with drywall. So I'm going to have to come in here and finish that and clean, clean that up so they can bring more drywall in the building. So they could do this side here. Um, nothing really got done over here either. And what I'm working on over here is more insulation. So this wall here is going to have to still go this week. Tuck pointing doesn't need to be done on that back wall because none of the water cascaded down. But this kitchen is now going to be set up, uh, mirrored off to the size or the type that we have over on the other side. And I started working on that insulation. We're not going to cover up the ceilings in this floor because we'll go ahead and let them um, hear the, themselves in the bedroom. Uh, it just takes too much time, too much money to do it, so I'm not going to worry too much about them. Um, but this right here, this unit here is the 2847 unit. And that is uh, the week of uh, January 10th, and tomorrow is another week. Hopefully we get the stuff done, and uh, there'll be something better to put on next week, and we can start marketing this place next weekend with the, with the uh, walls up, because right now it doesn't, you can't really tell how small the rooms are or how big the rooms are.